What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 18 of season 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Now guys, it's been quite a while since i played Minecraft, and by quite a while I mean 3 or 4 days. As many of you know, Modern Warfare 3 came out on Tuesday, it's currently Friday, so that's pretty much the only game I've been playing. But I'm pretty excited to take a little bit of a break from that and get back into Minecraft. Now, in the last episode, we did a couple of things, but the last thing we ended up doing was we found this massive cave uh, under our little island here, and what we're going to do today is explore that cave. Real quick, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the spreading of our grass. It's currently making its way around the second corner here, so as I said, it's going to take quite a while to completely go around the entire house, but it's making good progress nevertheless, and we'll just see how long it takes. Anyways, what we're going to do first off is get stocked up, get prepared to go explore. Uh, for that, we're going to need tools, we're going to need torches, uh, we're going to need a whole bunch of stuff, to be honest. So we got to grab a whole bunch of sticks here. I'm going to need more than that for sure, so we can grab some planks to make more. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, so first things first, we're going to make some torches. There we go, that should be a pretty good start, but we're going to bring the rest of the sticks with us. That way, when we find more coal, we can make, obviously, some more torches, because from what I've heard and from the video response that I saw about this cave, uh, it's pretty massive. I think that we're definitely going to have, not trouble exploring it, but it's going to take quite a while, and it's going to be uh, a pretty big ordeal to finish out, so I'm pretty excited. It should take the whole episode, if not uh, a couple episodes after that. So we're going to leave our axe. Actually, we have a spot for tools now, so that's going to go down there. Now, we're going to leave this almost dead iron sword. We can use it later around the base, maybe for killing some animals, but I've crafted a new one, and that's what we're taking with us. We're going to leave our shears here because I don't think there's going to be many sheep underground in the cave. We're going to bring our bow, and we've got plenty of arrows. We'll leave the flint and steel. All right, last thing we're going to need is some wooden planks. All right, we got that, and we should probably bring a workbench. All right, we're going to put the dirt away. We'll keep the cobblestone on us. And let me think. I think that's all we need, guys. I think we're prepared. So let's say goodbye to the surface here for a while because we're going to be down here uh, for quite some time. So if you remember correctly, we dug through here, and we found this massive opening. Now, uh, just so you guys know, I do have my brightness setting all the way up, so hopefully you guys will be able to see. I already hear a spider, which uh, isn't such a good thing. Let's break our way over here. Now, while I do this, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, how things are going around my house and things like that, because a ton of stuff has been going on. I've actually been uh, quite busy these last couple of days. A couple of you were wondering why I haven't been uploading too many Minecraft episodes. I think last week uh, I didn't get very many episodes up. Uh, but I just wanted to explain to you guys that uh, I'm not forgetting about you or anything that. I'm not forgetting about Minecraft. Uh, this past week, I actually have today off of school. It's Friday. But this past week, Monday through Thursday, I had a total of four tests at school. And normally that's not too bad. But they were actually... Uh, major tests, meaning they were in some pretty difficult classes, and they counted for a lot of my grade. So, uh, unfortunately, at that time, that was more important than YouTube. As much as I want to make YouTube the top priority, it's not, unfortunately. You know, schoolwork does come first because, I don't know, you need to get good grades, and you have to, you know, be well-educated to make it in this world nowadays. Unless, of course, uh, you know, you win the lottery or something like that, then I guess it's not too necessary, but as I'm saying, school comes first, so that's one of the main reasons I couldn't get a lot of videos up yesterday or this week. Whoa, I see diamond. What? I see diamond, guys. I don't know if you can see this, but right above my crosshair, I see diamonds. Oh, boy. I have a good feeling about this cave, guys. Anyways, uh-oh. Snuck up on me, didn't you? Little punk. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Like I said, so that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Got to jump in some water? Ah, we just barely made it. Man, this cave is brutal. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this cave is not treating me too well from the start here. My goodness. Let's take a little bit of a breather here. We're actually going to go get this coal. 
But anyway, so, as I'm trying to say, as I keep getting interrupted, uh, that was the reason I didn't get very many episodes up. And then, a lot of you were wondering why I uploaded two Modern Warfare 3 commentaries in a row, uh, and they were on, like, uh, Thursday, and I also uploaded one today. Now, I just posted a video right before this one, right before I re I'm recording this now, talking about my new schedule, so if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go watch it, but... Just a little recap, I'm going to keep uploading Minecraft every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then the Modern Warfare 3 videos are going to be just on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. But the reason this week that I uploaded them during the week, not on the weekends, is because the game just came out. I was really excited, I just got my HD PVR, and I really just wanted to upload some gameplay. So to those of you who got a bit irritated that it wasn't Minecraft, I'm very sorry. I'm not trying to, you know, irritate any of you, but... Uh, you know, just wanted to get that gameplay up. Now, I just realized that we forgot something very, very important, and it's so important that we're going to have to go back up to the surface to grab it, but uh, we didn't grab any food, and uh, the fact that I'm almost dead as it is is not too, you know, uh, appetizing, I guess you would say. I'm kind of at a loss for words here, but long story short, we need to go grab some food real quick because I think we're going to be in some trouble. But anyways, like I was saying, I've been really like really enjoying Modern Warfare 3 a lot more than I thought I would. It is it's an amazing game. I'm having so much fun playing it. And I don't know. I just I'm in that mood right now where it's pretty much the only game I want to play. Once again, that does not mean that I'm stopping Minecraft or that I ever will. Uh you guys, some of you, not all of you, some of you seem to think that uh, I'm going to stop it or something, but I can guarantee you that that game's never going to be stopped on my channel. I can promise you guys that. It'll always be the main priority. I know I've said this a bunch of times, but some people just still seem to think that I'm going to give it up. Uh, I promise you guys that I'm not going to. And to be honest, I think that uploading Modern Warfare 3 gameplay will help me uh, ensure that I never give it up. Because I'm not sure if a lot of you remember X, but... For a while, he only uploaded Minecraft, and he eventually got tired of it, which is completely understandable. Oh, there's a skeleton. Yes, lava time for him. But, yeah, as I was saying, he eventually got tired of it, which makes sense, because uh, I can see how you could get tired of a game if it's the only one you're playing. So by posting Modern Warfare 3 commentaries every once in a while, I think it'll stop me from getting burnt out of Minecraft. So, I think it's a good thing. I'm having a lot of fun posting the commentaries. I just, like I said, I'm really enjoying that game. And I'm looking forward to continuing to play it. Now, this cave's a bit overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of dark areas over here. And I don't even know where to start. Oh, I hear zombies. I hear spiders. I heard skeletons. Now, I guess those zombie sounds could be Endermen. If I'm not mistaken, they make the same sound. Oh, I hear footsteps. This is kind of scary, guys. Uh, it's definitely a big change of pace coming from Modern Warfare 3. You know, the whole objective of that game is just basically uh, to kill everybody in sight, <laughs> uh, to put it bluntly. But in this game, you know, it's all about strategy. And wow, that is a long way down. <laughs> all right, so I just wanted to continue talking to you guys about a couple of things that's going around uh, in my life because, I don't know, I feel like, I can talk to you guys about stuff like that, so, uh, it's nearing Christmas, I'm not sure how many of you celebrate Christmas, I know that it's not a holiday that everybody celebrates, but uh, a lot of people in America celebrate it, so, uh, any of you who do celebrate it, you'll know it comes in December, and, uh, you get gifts for Christmas, and that's, uh, you know, one of the main reasons for Christmas or whatever, but, uh, for Christmas... Uh, what my the main thing I'm getting the main gift is I'm rearranging my entire room. I'm completely setting up my I'm completely resetting up my gaming uh, you know like little station. And let me explain. Uh, before uh, I usually the way I have everything set up is that I have one monitor with my TV or like one TV that houses my PlayStation, and then I have my computer monitor. Well, the way I'm setting it up now, that I'm going to be setting it up for Christmas, is I'm going to have both monitors on one desk rather than two, and they're going to be right next to each other. I think it'll just make it a bit easier to do stuff, especially seeing how the HD PBR has to be hooked up to both 
uh, your computer and your TV at the same time. So, I've been busy rearranging my room because though we're not setting it up till December, we still need to get a lot of the furniture moved around and stuff. Come on, zombie. Just die already, man. You're annoying. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been busy with that, too. I've been pretty much rearranging my entire room, which is a lot of work. All right, let's see what's going on up here. But yeah, so also uh, for Christmas, I'm going to be probably getting a new mic, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that. I know the mic quality on my headset now is just fine, and I don't think uh, it, it would be a problem if I stuck with it, but I'm looking into blue microphones. You guys might not recognize the company, but they do make the microphone uh, the Blue Snowball and the Blue Yeti. They're pretty popular mics that a lot of YouTube people use. And uh, I know I've mentioned this once, but my friend does have one. And it does just has amazing quality. And I really like the way the mic actually sets up because it allows you to use your own headset. Uh, you plug the headset into the mic, and then the mic transfers game sounds, and it still records your voice at the same time, much like a headset would do, but... Uh, it's just, I really like the way the mic is set up, and I like the way it works. So I'm thinking of getting a, either a Blue Snowball or a Blue Yeti for my, uh, for Christmas, which I'm pretty excited about. I can't wait to do some test videos and to see how it sounds, because it should uh, greatly improve the quality. Man, there is some big open space down there. This is insane. That looks awesome. I see a ton of iron. And that's another thing. I haven't even really been collecting the resources right now. I'm sure you've already noticed that sure some of you are like you've passed iron yeah I know I've passed it a couple times actually but right now I'm just trying to get this lit up so I don't run into any of the mobs that you just saw me block off because yeah they're not too nice all the time they tend to be kind of mean and they're extremely loud as well so I want to make sure that no more of them can join the party that's why I'm running around lighting everything up and I'm actually almost out of torches which uh, kind of scares me a bit Alright, so... Alright, there's nothing over there. Alright, we got a pretty good amount of stuff lit up. I think we still have to explore down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There's always unexplored areas. Man, this looks almost like a ravine. I wonder if it is. Let's block this off. I know I'll fall down that hole. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at this. This is another ravine. Whoa. I did not know we had another ravine. There's the diamond. Now you can probably be able to see it. But yeah, look at this, guys. We have found yet another ravine close to our base. Now, I really don't want to fall, so I'm going to back away from there. But I have quite a feeling now. I'm pretty sure that this is going to take a lot longer than I had expected to explore. I thought this might be able to be conquered in one episode, but now I'm positive that there's no chance... This is a massive cave, you guys, but it's pretty exciting. It should yield a whole bunch of resources, because uh, I've already passed at least 15 veins of iron so far. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff down here. I see another skeleton. I hear a zombie. Oh, now I see a zombie. Oh, foolish zombie. <laughs> you can't beat me. Uh, your friends, the skeleton and the creeper can, but not you, bud. Sorry. Alright, so now I'm going to backtrack and try to find a whole bunch of that iron that I passed because I think that's probably one of the most val valuable things you can get from these caves. Obviously, you can get diamond, which uh, pretty much beats everything, but it's not too common, so iron's pretty cool as well. Alright, so where haven't we been? I know, I think I just came from here, didn't I? Oh no, I don't think I've been over here, or at least I haven't gotten the iron from over here. And I hear more skeletons. Oh, I see a skeleton. Time to die, bro. Did you give up already? Uh oh, I still hear him. Ah, why do skeletons scare me so much? Ah, that's why. Die. Ah, you little bugger. <laughs> Alright, so I still hear more, unfortunately. They really, uh, skeletons are the one monster that I don't like dealing with. Uh, they're pretty freaky, actually. 
Now I think I saw something down here. It was either like an Enderman or something. I thought I did at least. I don't know. It's so pitch black. Um, whoa! Almost just fell there. I'm having trouble seeing stuff to be honest. Some iron here, but I have a feeling that this drops. Yep, called that one. <laughs> kind of like a false bottom. That's not a good thing. Yes. All right, so we dropped one piece down, and I'm not even going to try to get that piece right now because I just know it's going to come up with the same result. It's just going to fall. All right, so uh, back on talking about things that are going on around me. Uh, where I live, it does not get cold. I, I'm rather close to the equator, so it's always pretty hot down here. I don't know. If, I still haven't decided in the amount of time that I've been here. Uh, I've been here my whole life, by the way. I don't know if... I still the hot the heat doesn't really bother me too much, but I'm also not that big of a fan of it. But today, for some reason, a cold front moved in, and it's actually been really, really nice out. The weather's just beautiful, and like I don't know, it's so comfortable. I actually have my windows open in my room, which is something we don't get to do very often because we normally have the AC running at like full power. And uh, you know, I've actually got a jacket on today, which is even rarer than opening my windows so uh, it's just been like a really great day today and I've just really been enjoying myself after I uh, finish recording this I'm actually going skateboarding I don't see why uh, I mean I don't want to spend the entire day inside when it's this nice out you know I can spend the hot days inside so now I'm going back down here real quick I'm just making sure I didn't miss any iron because uh, if I get any resource from this cave I do want it to be iron but uh, let's make up some more torches real quick because I am starting to run really low on them. Whoa, that gave us exactly 64. Not bad. Anyways, how much iron do we have so far? 20. Okay. Oh, I just saw some iron out of the corner of my eye. Oh, I see a skeleton. I'm going to get you, bro. Voila, and he's dead. I feel like I'm playing Call of Duty. Anyways, let's hop on over. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to fall down there. Alright, I think it's safe to grab this iron real quick. You never know when there's so many monsters just like lurking around. Alright, I see some more iron there. Alright, I think we got that covered. Now where was this iron? Here we go. Oh, keep falling down these random little holes. Let's eat some bread, actually. I'm going to try to keep my hunger bar up as much as possible. As many of you know, I'm not too big of a fan of the hunger bar. I actually wish you had an option to turn it off because, uh, to be honest, I probably would. But... Uh, you know, we got to deal with it. There's no escaping it. So I want to make sure, you know, I conquer it. I beat it because, uh, I don't know. It's it's a bit irritating, but, you know, we just got to deal with it, I guess. All right, so I see some more iron up here. Okay, now I feel like I am officially lost, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I don't know where I am. Hopefully, this is the way out. Let me look. Yeah, I remember making that bridge. Must mean that that up there is the way out. Yeah, I'm going to, real quick, while I'm going to take a second here, and I'm going to make an official staircase with a whole bunch of torches. That way, I know my way up. I actually see some obsidian down there, too. This is insane. Alright, so we are making a proper staircase here. One that we will not be able to miss. Alright, that'll do, that'll do. We're just trying to make it so it stands out. Obviously, cobblestone doesn't usually occur naturally. I know it does technically in some cases, but it's not very common. Uh, so if we see this big double wide cobblestone staircase, we should be fine. I'm just going to continue to clear this out a bit. That way it looks nice. 
bit of OCD kicking in there. Yeah, for those of you who have played Minecraft, which I'm sure almost all of you watching this video has, you know it'll pull out your OCD and drive you insane, so uh, it's better to just deal with it than try to ignore it. Alright, so I think we're going to make a pit stop real quick. We're going to run up and drop some stuff off as well as just kind of, you know, uh, just get our stuff together pretty much. I'm a bit uh, rustled around from going in that cave so much. Nice to see the surface for a little bit. Alright, we're also going to go check on the grass really quick because I, I really want the grass to finish growing. And uh, it doesn't seem to be doing so fast enough. Alright, let's head on over here. Alright, so it has now gotten around this corner, but it still needs to go down that way and then back. Alright guys, sorry for that little cutscene. I actually uh, started rambling on about something and uh, I decided just to cut it out because it didn't really make much sense and it wasn't really relevant to what I was talking about. Anyways, I wanted to ask you guys something. I haven't really been watching very many Minecraft videos lately. It's really just all been Call of Duty for me these past couple of days. But I was wondering, has pre-release 6 come out yet? Uh, I'm hoping it has because I heard there's supposed to be something like a boss fight or something like that. And uh, it would be nice to go and download it if it has come out. So be sure to let me know in the comments if it's been released. I don't know, I haven't really been up to date with Notch or Jeb's Twitters lately, so to be honest, I've got no clue. Anyways, our tree farm has almost already completely grown in, and we just cleared it out in the last episode. It just goes to show you how nuts a tree farm goes if you give it enough room. Uh, it's, just, it's just ridiculous uh, how quickly this stuff grows in. Ah, it's crazy. Okay, so... Uh, I don't feel like we're 100% done with the tree farm yet. I do want to put a wall around it, but we'll probably do that in the next episode because uh, I just don't really feel like doing it right now, to be honest with you. And uh, I really like the wall that I had in my first season around my tree farm, and I'd love to use that same design, but I am still trying to do things differently, so I'm not going to use it. And I want to come up with a new design before I go and do that. Alright, so real quick guys, uh, I want to show you something. A lot of you obviously have seen that this grass is different than all the other grass around it. And I really don't have an explanation for it except for the fact that this world was spawned in 1.8. And this grass came in the pre-releases. But I was told by somebody that if I break the grass and replant it with more dirt that it'll spread back as regular dark grass now. And I just wanted to show you guys whether or not it worked. I figured I'd give it a try real quick. Uh, we'll break a bit of this up and we'll see if it spreads. But I wanted to point out one other thing. They really need to fix the sides of the grass. Because as you can see, the sides are really light green. And the top here is like borderline gray. So I don't think that looks too, too good. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of things that still need to be fixed with this game, but I still love it to death, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Anyways, so we replanted the dirt, and we're just going to give it a little while. As you can see, it just spread back as regular bright green. So I think it has the same thing to do with the fact that this water here is light blue, and then it's dark blue here. I think that this little chunk here is not part of the swamp biome yet the rest of the island here is. It's, it's kind of strange, I know, but uh, unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do about it. I don't know uh, how I would fix that. You know, I gave it a try, but it seems like it's growing back light green. Anyways, let's put some more stuff away real quick. Alright, so now we got all of our stuff put away, and we're going to head back down to the cave real quick. Whoa, guys, look at this. Now, I know this was added in pre-release 5, I believe, but as you can see, there's little water droplets, uh, what you might call it, they're dropping through the block here, and that obviously indicates that right above is water, as you just saw, it almost fell down. I think that's a great thing that they added. It really does help, because I have had times recently where I've been in a cave, and I saw lava dripping through, and I knew, 
you know, not to break that block. So I think that is one of the greatest things that they have added. It really, uh, it helps even though it's a bit of a small change. So I don't know. I'm, I just wanted to point that out. I don't know. I don't know if all of you knew that that was added to the game, but I'm sure most of you did. All right. I hear more skeletons. Oh, where's that coming from? Where is it? Oh, there you are. You're done, son. Come back here. Sneaking up on me like that. You deserve to die. <laughs> Man, that really did honestly scare the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. I had no clue where he was coming from. Alright, so... I guess we'll go this way. Oh, big cave opening. We're not going that way. <laughs> we'll have to deal with that a little bit later. Oh, I see two skeletons and a zombie that way. Man, all these cave uh, little tunnels branching off from this main opening out here, they just all seem so inviting. They really make you feel at home and like you want to just jump right into them. Ah, oh, man. This cave is pretty difficult, guys. It's not that it's stressful, but it's just a, it has a lot going on, and I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't know, you know what to do about it, to be honest. Alright, so, don't want to get lost. That's probably the main objective. As caving goes, it's like, your your objectives are, don't get lost, kill every mob in sight, don't fall into lava, and grab a whole bunch of resources. So, uh, that's why today's episode has been taking out pretty much those first three, though we did fall into lava, so I guess uh, we're, we're already failing, which is pretty good, pretty... Uh, good boosts of confidence to know that we've only completed two out of the three missions. Anyways, uh, in the next couple of episodes, we're going to be grabbing the resources and continuing to light up. 360. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up Friday's episode, guys. But before I go, I do want to talk to you uh, about what's going to be going on on my channel the next couple of days. Like I had already mentioned, I did upload a video about my new schedule. So I just wanted to uh, restate that tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow there's going to be some Call of Duty gameplay online. Uh, as I said, the weekends are my day to upload Call of Duty and other PlayStation games and things like that. So that's what's coming tomorrow. And then Monday there will be episode, what is it, 19 I think it'll be? Yeah, this one's episode 18. So Monday will be episode 19 of our Minecraft Let's Play. And from there on out there will be an episode Wednesday and Friday of Minecraft. So I hope you all have enjoyed episode 18 of our Let's Play. Uh, be looking out for that Call of Duty gameplay tomorrow. Uh, be sure to go check out that schedule video. And for those of you who don't know, I already do have two Call of Duty videos up on my channel. So head on over there and check out all the recent videos. Oh, it's raining. Let's go check that out. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow for some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. And then for those of you... Let me turn that down real quick. And for those of you who don't enjoy Modern Warfare 3 and probably won't watch the videos, then I will see you all on Monday. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace!